Hi there and welcome once again to the Train Aid HQ. My name is Nick and in today's video we are looking at the Level 3 Award in Education and Training and we are going to be investigating the most commonly asked questions in regards to the Level 3 teaching course. The most commonly asked questions in regards to the qualification structure is how is the course assessed? There are three written assignments to the course. Those are the roles and responsibilities of a teacher, inclusive practice and also assessment methods. The suggested word count per assignment is 2000 words each. And you also have to complete a 15 minute micro teach of your choice of topic. In regards to the certificate, this is an electronic PDF certificate which will be emailed to you uh, once you have completed the, the three written assignments and also the micro teach and those elements of the course have passed. And the certificate can take uh, 10 working days to come through to your email. In regards to the most commonly asked questions with the qualification, the first is who is the awarding body? Who is the provider? So the awarding body is high field qualifications and is the course accredited? Yes, it is. It's an off qual regulated qualification. It's on the RQF uh, framework and it is a fully accredited course. So once you've gained this qualification, it's yours for life. It does not expire. It is valid um, outside of the UK. Well, it is a UK based qualification. Many of our learners have gone on to teach abroad with the level three. So it's always worth checking with the, the organization, the school or college that you are thinking of applying to, just to double check here. But as a general rule, um, UK based qualifications are highly sought after and thought of abroad as well. But we do encourage you to check with the organization that you are applying to. Does the qualification expire? No, uh, the qualification is yours for life and there's no need to renew the level three uh, course once you've achieved it. The, the guided learning hours, well, there are 48 uh, suggested guided learning hours with this qualification. Of course, you complete the course at your very own pace, but the average learner takes one month uh, to complete the qualification. There are no expiry dates, there's no cutoff point or deadlines with the course here at TrainAid. So please do take your time if you wish. In regards to what support you will receive when doing the qualification, support is uh, available over the phone, over Zoom as well. And the marking team do uh, take five working days uh, to turn around your assignments. If you do have any questions regarding the assignments or your micro teach, please do email us or give us a call. So our office hours are Monday to Friday from nine to five, of course, and we'll be happy to, to give you lots of support and advice uh, from the start to the finish of your qualification. And um, what are the entry requirements? Well, there are no uh, specific entry requirements. However, if you have uh, basic IT skills uh, to help uh, to write your three assignments, that is advisable. And also basic IT skills when planning your very own micro teach as well. Um, there are no previous uh, qualifications that you need to do this course. It's often regarded as the first qualification on the teaching and training ladder. Another question is, uh, can I get funding for this course? The answer to that is no. Uh, however, we do offer flexible payment plans on all of our courses. So please do check out our monthly payment plan options uh, available on our website. How soon uh, does my certificate take to arrive? Well, it is 10 working days after the, the three assignments and also the micro teach have been completed. And also um, it is an electronic certificate and no longer hard copy certificates as well. How long are the three assignments? So the assignments are roughly 2000 words per assignment. You only need the Angravel's uh, textbook as a source of information. You can of course uh, include other uh, source of information such as websites, journals, and textbooks. You can write in the first or the third person, that's absolutely fine as well. And do have a look at our YouTube channel for some helpful guidance on how to complete your three assignments. Um, another key question is, do I need to work within a teaching role to complete this qualification? The answer to that is no, you don't need to be working within uh, a teaching position in order to embark on this qualification. So if you are perhaps interested in becoming a teacher or trainer, then this is the qualification for you.
Some further questions is what can I teach after the level three award in education and training? The answer to that is any course or qualification that you have yourself. So subject knowledge is a great hallmark of any teacher or trainer. So you have to be confident in what you are going to be teaching here. What career opportunities are available after the Level 3 AET course? So there are many of different opportunities which you can go into. For example, you can be a freelance trainer, so you can teach any course or qualification that you have yourself. You can work for a number of different training providers uh, to fill up your, your training calendar. For example, you could be perhaps a, a freelance first aid trainer, a health and beauty teacher as well. You can also work within the college and post six sector either as a part or a full-time teacher uh, you can register you can set up your own courses you can also uh, deliver in-house training courses if you work for a company by example you can also set up your own training company as well so you can become a director of your own training company if you wish delivering your very own courses uh, furthermore, can I set up my own training company with this qualification? You certainly can if that's your wish. We'd also recommend that you join uh, an awarding body and come accredited. So please do have a look at uh, joining awarding bodies such as VTCT, Babtac, City and Guilds and also the Beauty Guild as well. Just to name a few different awarding bodies there that you can investigate depending on your very own subject. Um, can I deliver my own courses with this qualification? and offer certificates? Well, the answer is yes, you can. You can, of course, deliver any courses or qualifications that you have yourself. Uh, you will also need to gain the, uh, the CARVA, the assessing qualification, in order to issue accredited course certificates as well. So you do need to go on and gain the, uh, the CARVA assessing qualification there. What can I deliver uh, my micro teach on so that is a very common question the micro teach so it's 15 minutes long and it can be any uh, choice of um, activity it can be on a hobby an interest it could be it's perhaps something to do with your job role as well any topic that you wish okay and can I deliver my micro teach longer than 15 minutes? Well, the answer is no. Uh, we have to be quite strict with uh, uh, the actual timings of a micro teach. So it's 15 minute long in total. It should have a clear aim and also uh, objectives as well. Just moving on, uh, some more uh, questions about the course is how many uh, course uh, credits are there? So there are 12 credits in total. And does the ca uh, course count uh, towards UCAS points? No, um, however, it's a very valued uh, teaching qualification. So if you are looking at applying to university, then it's a very good qualification that can really supplement um, any university application. So you could perhaps do this course during a gap year, by example, to help with any university application here. Um, furthermore, um, is the hard copy, uh, sorry, is the, the certificate a hard copy? No, uh, the awarding body Highfield now only produce electronic certificates. So once again, that will be emailed to you. And in terms of my micro teach, can I use PowerPoint slides for my micro teach? Yes, you certainly can. Uh, we advise no more than, than five slides uh, for your micro teach. Uh, do ask your learners lots of questions. Discussions are very important within your micro teach as well. In terms of videos, can I show videos during my micro teach? Yes, that is the answer. You, you can indeed show videos, but we, again, uh, we suggest no longer than one to two minutes and be prepared to ask uh, your learners questions about your videos as well. So a video uh, should be no longer than one to two minutes here. We shouldn't sort of take up uh, too much time within your micro teach. Okay, furthermore, questions are, what are the, the course progression areas? So if you're looking at sort of developing yourself further, we would suggest the level four or level five teaching qualification. So if you're looking at teaching within a college, a school setting, the independent school sector, then definitely look at the level four and five teaching qualifications there. Uh, they do stem very well from the level three teaching course. You do, however, need to have access to, to teaching hours with the level four and the level five. So do look at securing uh, a teaching, uh, teaching position following on from the level three teaching course. Uh, another uh, qualification to gain is a level uh, three CARVA qualification as well. Uh, so you'll become a fully qualified assessor and that will allow for you to issue accredited course certificates. 
So furthermore, um, in terms of the course, um, what are the three different course formats and do you receive different certificates? So there are three different course formats. The online, which is a self-paced course, uh, the three-day webinar course, which is on Zoom, and also the three-day classroom course as well. So regardless of uh, which format uh, you uh, choose, you still gain the same qualification, a level three award in education and training. So the format uh, which you choose, it will not suggest that uh, on the certificate, okay? So do feel free to choose the format that you are most comfortable with. Um, how long do you have to complete this course? Well, as long as required. There are no um, expiry dates with the course. Uh, there are no late fees. You can submit your assignments uh, to us as many times as you like, of course. So do take your time with this course and qualification. So there are many uh, progression points that you can uh, progress on to, such as the teaching courses, assessing, and also the IQA course as well. Another uh, uh, common question we get is, can this qualification uh, be used within primary, secondary, and the independent school sectors? Well, it is a post-16 uh, qualification, so you can use this, of course, within the private training sector. Uh, you can use this within uh, colleges for any uh, college position application. Um, you can use this within perhaps a primary and secondary school, depending on what the, the, the schools say. You can, of course, use use this if you're a cover supervisor or teaching assistant uh, to supervise and monitor classes as well. But of course, if you are applying to perhaps a primary or secondary school, we do ask for you just to, to check with the, the admissions department if you see a teaching position here as well. So in terms of uh, teaching roles, well, of course, you can apply for any uh, college or post-16 uh, teaching sector role, whether this is part or full time as well. Uh, an excellent progression would be the level four here. And of course, in terms of uh, assistant roles, you can, of course, uh, apply to teaching assistant and cover supervisor roles if you wish. Those are some general uh, questions with the Level 3 Award uh, in Education and Training. If you do have any further questions, please do uh, give us a call or just email the team with any questions you might have. Thank you very much for, for listening today and for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe to the, the YouTube channel. And if you have any course questions, uh, please do get in touch. Thank you very much and we hope to see you very soon.